your conversion from the Church of England to Catholicism. Yep. That was in 93, was it? Yes, correct. Okay, and what, why did you decide to, to convert? And is it something you thought about for a while, or was it oh, again? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the final straw was the debate over women priests, which mm -hmm. wasn't about, is this theologically possible? It was all about, if we don't do this, we shan't appeal to the modern world, which is not my idea of how a church should operate. A church should lead, not follow. So um, and that was, but that was only the final straw. I mean, for years I had been very, very disillusioned with the Church of England, which compromised on everything, uh, and was always sacrificing faith to fashion. And I looked, by contrast, with Rome, which even if something was profoundly unpopular, if Rome thought it was right, Rome stood by that, and you know, bother the rest of it. So there's no chance you'd return to Church of England then. You're joking, aren't you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, oh, what a <clears throat> no, okay. Uh, I mean, do you think there's a hope for it? Do you think that you know, in future it could become a bit more, maybe, you know, believe in its own convictions and not go by what the popular opinion is and just, just kind of change to that? I don't see any sign of it happening. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had a succession of archbishops who are all uh, uh, of that mode. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, really, <clears throat> I don't really see any change taking place.